Hello, in this video we will discuss about cathodic protection. Suppose this is the metal surface which we want to protect from corrosion. So as we have learned in electrochemical theory of corrosion, some part of it will act as anode, some part will act as cathode. In the anodic area, the metal will oxidize to its ion and it will generate some electrons. So these electrons will flow toward cathode and at the cathode, these electrons will be used for these three reactions electroplating liberation of hydrogen and absorption of oxygen right so as electrons are getting consumed the process will continues right and this flow of electron generate some potential on the metal surface and because of this flow of electrons this metal will get corrodes right this total current discharged by anodic area is called local action current if we stop this flow of electron we can protect this metal from the corrosion so there are two methods to protect it. This protection is called cathodic protection. The first method is use of sacrificial anode and the second method is called impressed current method. Right. So in this we reverse this direction of current and we protect this part from the corrosion. So let's see first method. This is the cathodic protection by sacrificial anode. This is the metal surface which you want to protect from corrosion. This is the area which is acting as an anode now and this will corrode, right? So what we'll do, we'll connect this metal to some metal which is more active than this metal, right? So now this will act as anode instead of this. So at this metal, the oxidation reactions will take place. It will generate electrons and these electrons will flow toward this metal, right? And now this will act as cathode. So instead of this metal, this metal which is acting as anode which is more active than this will corrode right so we have protected this by making it as a cathode so this process is called cathodic protection these are some examples suppose if you have taken a fe these are some metals zinc aluminium and magnesium which are more active than fe so we can use them for the protection of fe and these are some examples which are less active than fe the another method or the cathodic protection is by impressed current method we provide external current to protect that right so this is the metal surface this is the part which is acting as anode and the electrons will generate at the anode and flow toward the cathode right so what we'll do we'll connect this metal to another uh, this is the electrodes suppose we have two electrodes which are connected right so we will apply external voltage what we are saying this part which is acting as anode generating electrons and electrons will flow toward other electrodes right if we apply same potential equivalent potential equivalent to local action current then there will be no flow of electrons right or if we apply slightly higher potential then this other electrode will act as auxiliary anode right instead of this and electrons will flow from this anode to matter metal and your metal will act as a cathode now and it will get protected in the process. So this is method is called impress current method. Thank you.